Dear John, on January 16, 2004, I finally realized that I had a problem. For most of my life, I knew that I liked to eat, but I did not recognize how it was, how it was taking over my life. I didn't realize that the obsession I had with food was tearing us apart. During our 15 years of marriage, I thought you were the one with the problem. I thought you were the cause of all of our fights. When I came home from work, I would sit in my car and dread coming upstairs to see you because I knew that you would want to have quality time with me and I wanted no part of that whatsoever. Sometimes I would actually pretend to vomit so I did not have to be with you. Even after we were together, I would wait till you went to sleep so I could eat as much as I wanted to and you would never know or I thought you would never know. And I would always blame you for all my problems. I told myself life would be so great without you. If you were gone, life would be perfect. How could you love someone that was fat and was so out of control? How could you want to make love to me? And how could you love, how could God love me? I was flawed, I was ugly, and I was fat, fat, fat. And yet you would keep telling me that you loved me. How and why? Why do you love me? I didn't look like the top models. I hated every part of me. And all you wanted to do was to take care of me. I would eat all night to make the bad thoughts go away. When they, I meant to make the bad thoughts go away and I would just eat more and more. The next day, you would always ask me, did you eat after I went to bed? My response would be very, very nasty. You were wrong and I was always right. I was always angry towards you. I could not let anyone else see that I was flawed. I knew that I could rip you apart and you would always come back and I, <clears throat> and, I, and there was a part of me that hated you for that. On January 16, 2005, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I could not lie anymore about my issues with food. I was so out of control. I realized that food had become my drug of choice. I wished that I was addicted to, co to cocaine instead. At least I would have been thin. I needed to learn how to view food to view food properly, to understand that it was meant to be my fuel and not my drug. I had to dig out of what I felt like was 10 feet of thick layered cement that was on top of me. Slowly I began to scratch my way out. I became determined that my every thought was of obsession over food must stop. After a year of wrestling with God about this, I finally started to give him some of the control. At first, I only gave him a little, but then I found myself giving him more and things started to change. My relationship with food was getting a little easier and our relationship was getting better. I could share with you more. Little by little, I began to hear God's voice, just like I was finally starting to hear yours. And now I get it. You love me for who I am inside and not outside. You love me. You love me. You want to help me, not hurt me. God wants to help me too. Little by little, the obsession was fading. The cement over my head is cracking open. I am beginning to see the light. I never thought in a million years that I was the one with the problem, but I was. I am so, 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 so sorry that I blamed you. I see now that God placed you in my life to help me get through this. Each day is a struggle, but with you and God, I know I can get through this. You are the love of my life, and you'll always be. Thank you so much for standing by me. You are a wonderful man, and I love you, and thank you.